spending more than $60,000 to study how to move a West Dayton neighborhood forward. This is part of our ongoing series, Dayton Gets Real. New Center 7's Mike Campbell talked with city planners and Westwood neighborhood residents about what they hope this latest investment can do to stabilize and bring more opportunity to this area. The city says this grant will allow them to develop an economic development plan for this neighborhood. It's a neighborhood known as the Westwood neighborhood that they think is well worth the investment. It's new for the, for the Westwood neighborhood. It's something that na the neighborhood residents and stakeholders brought to us as something that they wanted. The Westwood neighborhood is one of the city's largest neighborhoods, 12th in terms of size, 7th in population. And this study will be more about housing economics than any other particular area. And it is overdue. A neighborhood plan specifically for Westwood hasn't been done, certainly in my time here in the last 15 years. But the $62,000 grant will allow planning for this sprawling neighborhood that is bounded by West 3rd Street, Gettysburg Avenue, James H. McGee, and the Wolf Creek. Residents are optimistic about the potential plan. Dayton is uh, coming back, but it's, you know, it's, it's going to take some time. While admitting being a little pessimistic about how the process might play out. It's kind of mind-boggling to see how much money they they, they uh, place for something and then it doesn't go where it's supposed to go. City planners say this money will pay to hire a consultant that holds community meetings to develop community priorities and a plan to reach them. Much work has already been done to stop blight and hazardous conditions here. Uh, the neighborhood's been through a lot of change, as you know. Um, it's not as dense as it used to be. There's been a good degree of demolition that's occurred there. City planners said there's more to be done, but they've spent as much nuisance abatement money here as in any other city neighborhood. And our drives down the streets showed some of the empty lots, plus a combination of new housing and older housing, some of which might also need to come down. It could be a roomier, cleaner, greener uh, neighborhood if done right. Most of the study will concentrate on housing since this neighborhood is almost all single family homes and heavily residential. But people living here say they'd still like some attention paid to potential retail opportunities as well. The city, we need stores, we need grocery stores, we need, we need places where you can uh, spend your money without going 15, 20 miles. There's already been a concerted effort by the city and neighborhood residents to replace older and dilapidated housing with newer housing. It's all part of the plans to bring this neighborhood back up to par. They're hoping this new study will be more than just words on paper and will actually move the community forward. In Dayton, Mike Campbell, News Center 7. The city thinks it's, it's going to take about a year to hire a consultant, hold community meetings, and come up with the plan's priorities. To pay for this, the city is going to use a $50,000 Montgomery County land use grant and a $12,000 matching grant from.